What's going on people of Neverwinter? It's your boy Frank. In this video, we're going to talk about um, how to get the Empowered Illusionist Mask. Um, the last couple videos I posted about this event, people have asked me, um, what's the best way to get the Empowered Mask? Um, so this video is going to be part one of that. And then we'll have a part two here in a couple of days when I get the rest of the mementos. And uh, we'll show you that part. All right, so this one here, we're going to be talking about the first step. So for those who haven't participated in the previous one, you're going to have a illusionist mask here. This is the basic one. You have to get this up maxed to trade this one in for the other mask. And the only way to do that is to participate in this event. Um, so for those who don't know, you go to the vendor here. And the Empowered Illusionist Mask here. As you see right here in red, it says requires a fully upgraded Illusionist Mask. So if you participated in this the years before, you may have this mask already. Some people have discarded it because it was poopy, or it was trash, or it wasn't good for them. So now, it is relevant. So with that being said, we're going to show you how to get up your regular illusionist mask all right <clears throat> I've already got up to the first segment so for this you're going to need the regions you're gonna need veil of shadows you're gonna need veil of mist you're gonna need mementos of lyra and you're gonna need memento of mask these here can only be obtained once per day so you're gonna have to do the quest in order to get these so go to the event Master here. Pick up Seer to Lies. Pick up Trade of Treats. The first section is going to ask you to talk to the Zer lookalike if you guys are familiar with Destiny and the Moonstone. So, um, that being said, Benefits, Moonstone Mask, Teleport. When I first saw this guy, when I came down here last night, it automatically reminded me of Zer from Destiny, the guy who sells the uh, the engrams. Tell me he doesn't look like Zer. So this is very easy. When Ash continues, when I give you a uh, gossip, though she has many names and wears many masks, you take that, you turn it into the quest. Worn by revelers easy, easy. The masquerade reflect the many faces of the goddess of illusion. And uh, I want to know what team you guys decided in the comments below. So if you guys can let me know about that, uh, I've seen a lot of people go Team Groot, as they're calling it, or the Naughty Roots. The razor wood looking guy. Um, so let me know what team you guys decide in the comments below. I'm interested to see. Because again, this. Not to keep bringing up Destiny 2. But this feels like Destiny 2's uh, faction rally. That they came out with. Pick a faction. Get currencies. Winning faction gets this. Everyone else can buy it for a discounted price. Same, kind, same concept here. So part one's done. Part one's done. Now we're gonna work on the second part. Now granted, you have roughly two weeks to do this to get both these masks up. So hopefully, again, the Empowered Illusions mask isn't good for every class. So, you guys can decipher if it's gonna be good for you, best and slot for you, or whatever. Alright, auto run, zoom out. Uh, 
I do apologize. My uh, inventory is kind of botched. I've been doing dailies and picking up everything. Um, so the next part is the trade of treats here. So we'll go ahead and read the trade of treats. This here says, trade liar charms with a masquerade illusionist for bags of illusionist treats. All right. So those who don't know, it's the people who have the little pumpkin head above them. There's one. There's two. In order to get the charms, you collect the pumpkins here. Three. Four. Five. So both these are done. Very simple, right? Come back here to the master. We are going Trade them both in. There's the mask of uh, Memento Mask and Memento of Lyra. As part of the masquerade, and then here is another place where you get the mask, the <clears throat> but the layers are, are reset at one a day. So I would do this just to have them ready for the empowered. It celebrates costumes. Something soul, so we're gonna see what that is. Post a lot of stuff on the auction house. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so we got the mementos. Got the mementos. So, where is the Illusionist Mask Refine? So, right now we are missing one Veil of Mist. To get Veil of Mist and Shadows, what you want to do is you want to open up these little bags here. They're going to give you pinatas. Pinatas are good too. They're going to give you some food. So, I assume that we just got that. Yep, so we got that. We have enough for that. Now you see the regions are here. I am not going to risk botching this video. So we're going to go buy some Prez Wards. Because I don't think I have any Prez Wards on this character. Prez. Four thousand for a Prez Ward. Steep around here, huh? Man. 20 prez wards, all right. We're gonna get up to the next section of the illusionist mask. All the regions. Currency, prez ward. Ta-da. Here we are, we are at blue now. You have to get a fully refined purple one. So as you see here, I need the veils again. And I need the Memento Flare. Again, this is reset once per day. So you're going to have to wait every day on the reset to get this. The veils are going to be easy. And you should have this by just doing the event a little bit. So um, once you get the purple and fully refine that, that's when you can take that Illusionist Mask and turn it in for the Empowered Mask. You need 1,000 of the currency and the fully upgraded illusionist mask to get said empowered illusionist mask. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I wanted to guys, I wanted to give you guys the best way to get this, so you guys know um, where to go and what to do to get that. Most of it's self-explanatory, but there's been a lot of people come to me and ask me, what do, what do I do for this? What do I do with that? Um, this, that, and the other. So this is me telling you guys how to get it. Um, with that being said, uh, one quick announcement before I end this. If you guys want to see how to get the Enchanted Broom here, this is the new mount coming in through the event. It's pretty good. Let me know. I will make a video as well as the second part to this. 
So again, I appreciate you guys. We've gotten some views of days. We've gotten some views last couple days with all the videos. And I appreciate the support. Uh, if it sounds like I'm a little weird, I just woke up. So I wanted to get this video out there a second day and, uh, and get it going. So uh, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe. Notifications on. And I will link the previous video here. So you guys have a great day. Peace.